Yo, what's up guys, how you doing? All right, I'm not gonna stream for long here, but I wanted to get a member stream in at least a little bit, so. How the fuck's everybody's night going? what did you guys think of uh, the stream today? I think we can come up with some cool ideas with the VR helmets. But the real question is, because the VR helmets, that's easy stuff to come up with. That's just, you know, there's a million ideas. The flamethrower. Well, yeah, the stream ended a little earlier than usual because I couldn't fucking take the rain anymore, dude. The rain was fucking annoying me. Um, what can I do with that flamethrower, though, is the real question. That shit is nuts. Like, it doesn't shoot far, but I feel like, I don't know, we could do something with it. Besides just burning shit. Like, I don't think we could really, like, I don't know, I want to do something with it instead of it just being, like, something I can, that's just laying around that I use every so often. I want it to be something, like, you know, that is used a lot. I just don't know how it would fit with anything. Uh, what's up, Matthew? How you doing, bro? Finally going to sack the editor today? I don't know. Let's, uh, well, let's see the, uh, the highlights. Let's see the highlight. The, uh, the Martin video. How did that turn out? And I saw some of you on the robot stream. No, she's not sleeping on the fucking couch. She's literally, um, she, you know, I'm just, she's trying to sleep and fucking I'm over and I'm streaming. So in the room here, so she doesn't want to, you know, be awoken by my talking, um, which makes sense. All right, let's see here. What do we got here? Straight man tries grinder for the first time. So what's uh, what what's what's wrong with this? Where are the what are the criticisms? I mean, it's 44 minutes long, but I, I don't know. He said he couldn't really cut it down anymore. But uh, what are what are your criticisms? The audio is messed up, too long to get out, too long video. Interesting. Okay, um, uh, he didn't cut it in the parts, Victor, because it was already, like, two days of this shit, like, it was already, like, two days past, and I was just, and he was gonna release two videos, part one and part two, but I was just like, dude, just put it all in one video, because at this point, it's just, it's too fucking late. There's an audio desync for ten minutes? That's a great highlight. That's great. <laughs> Let's read the comments. 44 minute highlight video. Okay. What the hell is this title? Duration of the video. Could have made two parts. Find the best clips, not all the clips. Okay. I mean, yeah. I don't know. But uh, the the video today about the uh, the bird book that should be a good clickbait. Just tight. Just put literally just put bird book in the fucking title. That should be great. Um, like virtual reality bird book or something or futuristic bird book or some shit like that. What's up, Rat? How you doing? And then the, the flamethrower should also be a pretty good video, too. And when I figure out what to do. Somebody said an ice sculpture. Ice, maybe if we get a big... I don't know how much ice costs. If we get a big block of ice and then I flamethrower the fucking ice into something, that could be good. But, uh, I mean, I don't know. 
I don't know what other ideas it could be besides that. I mean, I can't really go in public with it. I mean, I can obviously, uh, I was thinking maybe get like a car with like a no roof or something and I shoot it while I drive, but I'll get boring quick. Yeah, the flamethrower will be a different highlight video, Victor. I want to do a stream strictly with the flamethrower. Kimberly using the flamethrower would kill. I'm definitely going to get... Uh, yeah, I have a light in front of me. That's why it looks whitewashed. Um, Kimberly using the flamethrower would 100% be a good video. Uh, at least, like, good thumbnail for sure. You know, girls flamethrowers put them together yeah problem like fuck it dude that's a that's fuck that's great uh <laughs> like fuck it barbecue with it i mean i could like cook food with it or something yeah that could be interesting um you should have got one million subs last year get a good editor and you'll seek the benefits i mean 700k subs ain't a bad amount of subs but uh you know i don't know why is kimberly sleeping on the couch She's not sleeping on the couch. She's well. She's laying there now because I'm streaming right right now. So, um, you know that's why um, she's on the couch out there. Obviously, when I turn the stream off, she's gonna come in my room and not be on the couch. She just doesn't want to hear me talk while she's trying to like sleep or whatever. So instead, she's listening to the robot, I guess. Um, you've been 700k subs for a while now. I mean, it's just been like a few months or like two months or something. Maybe I don't know. We'll see. But, um, Asian Andy does have good clickbait videos. Um, Harvey's coming to LA on Tuesday. Let me see. Fucking, what was I going to fucking say? Um, I was going to say something, but I don't remember. Oh yeah, we're going to, uh, me and Kimberly are going to Universal tomorrow in the morning. We're planning on waking up at like 9am to, uh, and we're going to go to Universal for, I don't know, probably like five hours or six hours or something that I'm going to stream after that. So that'll be good. Um, let me see. Use, redo the tailgate stream with a grill, but use the flamethrower as well. Actually, is it really technically a culinary tool? Is that what he advertised it as? That's a good idea. Did she make more money than Grimoire last month? She made almost $17,000 last month. Let's see. Wow, Grimoire did a good job then. If that's really true, that's good. Um, yeah, last month I made like my I made like twenty three k or something, dude. Um, in in like YouTube revenue. Yeah, dude, that's a great idea actually. Back of a pickup truck, fucking cooking food for people on the street with the fucking flamethrower. I just hope I don't get shot. Maybe I can put on like a fucking, like a funny outfit or something, like a weird fucking, like maybe like, like a suit or something, like something that just sticks out. And I'm just, I don't know. I feel like it's going to bring a lot of attention. Oh, so I'll be good. Sorry to be off subject. Well, what type of lighting would you suggest for someone with a green screen at desktop for streaming that has sensitive eyes? Um, I suggest just normal lighting like this. I mean, I literally have a lamp in front of my face. So, uh, I mean, that would be good. Anything just... The light has to come from behind the camera, shooting at you, and that's the best lighting. Even though this one's a little whitewashed, because I don't have a fucking shade. But, you know, because I'm a cheap house, but I should get a shade. Um, let me see. Okay. Ice, it looks like you haven't been making much that much. That much. Hey, Ice, I mean, no, I'm doing fine, bro. What you mean? Scuffed or won't be striked or claimed by you or cannot. It's the same, but centered around one highlight instead of a few. All right, I'll watch this in a little bit, dude. Thank you. I'll watch this after my stream, though, and I'll check it out and see what's up. Um, thank you, Idea, or Andy. I appreciate that, homie. Um, oh, where's the music at? Oh, that was a short fucking track. Let me see. Let me put something on here. Um, that's good. I look like Michael, scuff Michael Jackson the lamp. Yeah, maybe. Um, yeah, no, that's a good fucking stream idea. But yeah, we're going to go to Universal tomorrow until like probably 2 o'clock. And then I'll you know stream later tomorrow night or something. Make it ice sculpture to start off with. An easy hour of some content and finish the tailgate. That's, I mean, hey, that's a good idea. I don't. How much does an ice sculpture cost? I have no idea. If you're not getting notifications for my channel, I don't fucking know. YouTube is so scuffed. 
Uh, yo, what's up, Sean? I am uh, trying to read the messages. What day is the Stringer stream you rescheduled to? I don't know. Whenever uh, Bone Clings wants to do it, I guess it's his radio and stuff. So it's not really up to him. Um, yeah, uh, dude, if I can make a, if I get a fucking an ice sculpture, they're probably not that expensive. It's literally just ice, and then, I mean, it's not gonna be anything but melted by the end of it. But it'd be cool to try. Did you see my merch you liked? I uh, I don't remember, but I did like some. I, li I like the Danino shirt with the dominoes on it. That was nice. Mm. Well, you know, so that's always good. Um, dude, I was I'm I was tired as fuck today. I woke up at like we woke up at eight o'clock in the morning, dude. She she gets my ass out of bed. She fucking wakes me up at eight a.m. and then we just fucking like go out and get breakfast and stuff. And I was just ugh, like I'm not used to waking up at eight a.m. So. Take the flamethrower to Big Bear and mount the mountain. Dude, I don't want to go to Big Bear again. It's too cold for that shit. It says you get three notifications of the day and you F five times every day. Um, well, that sucks. I'll make sure not to F. I'm doing my best. The fucking tech, the, it's, there's, the I view is just scuffed. I don't know why. Even the new one. Um, Voldestad is still his mom. He's not back here yet. So it's just me and Kimberly today at the house. Yeah, Missy, that's a good point. Phineas should just enable notifications on the website, to be honest. That'd be good. Do you saw the robot streamer shirt we gave you? Uh, yeah, it's in my fucking suitcase still. That I still haven't unpacked. Am I gonna strike clip channels? Uh, not at this point, no. But, you know, only if they take my highlights. The F in the card today killed me. Elixir kept filming, and EBZ never re read his chat to tell you about your F six minutes earlier. Yep, that's unfortunate, but, you know, whatever. Fuck it, my phone was dead, so I couldn't read the chat, unfortunately. Um, but it's all good. Crystal Ice Company. All right, Matthew, I'll make a fucking note of that. Thank you so much. Yeah, this is like day fucking seven of the 30-day challenge, huh? No, this is day five. Well, tomorrow's gonna be day six. Day six. Thank you, Bob's Burgers, member. I appreciate that, homie. Day six of the... Motherfucking 30 day stream challenge. That's. I'm not gonna lie, chat. This is hard. It's it's hard. It's, it's bro. I put I think of so much every day, dude. Just sometimes I just I wake up and I'm just like I don't know what the fuck to do. Like, I'm I'm serious. Just like I'm I wake up and I'm just like I gotta figure out what the fuck I'm gonna do today. Cause like goddamn I don't know. Did you see about what Faith said about you on Reddit? Who the fuck is... Oh, Jenna's friend? No, I didn't see what Faith said about me on Reddit. Let me check. Let's see here. Faith? First of all, I've never even met Faith, so she shouldn't be saying anything about me. What did she say? CX in the chat. How do I feel about leechers using your presence for money? Uh, I mean, that's fine. All right, what is this? Jenna manipulating ice? What is this? Well, let's see. Hold on. What is this one? Jenna talked about, about him to other streamers. Why ice is even going to have her in the streamer house? Well, first of all, Jenna's not going in the streamer house. All right. So either Jenna talks bad about me or she was trying to hook up with me. One of the two. Let's see. This chick is obviously... Pro I just Before I even watch this... She's probably lying about everything she's saying because, you know, she gets viewers from it. But let's see. What about Ice and his community? I don't have any opinions about Ice and his community, to be honest. Like, I don't know Ice and his community. I just know what Jenna told me about Ice in real life before, like, visiting his house and meeting Paul. And so that's why I didn't want to go to his house and meet Paul and be on stream and all that fun stuff. Okay, Jenna's been my friend for three years. I don't believe anything that's come out of this girl's mouth, to be honest with you. Um, Jenna would never talk bad about me. In fact, I've I've got word from other friends that are streamers that talk to Jenna that she has never said anything bad about me. In fact, this, the the first response, or the first uh, thing I that I know about this, I don't even know this girl, but the, you know, based on the actions that I saw last night, I already don't like this girl. Mainly because Jenna was kicked out of the uh, the the house, the streamer house uh, that they got going on over there, and uh, Faith 
is who's Jenna's friend, has been Jenna's friend for a while now. They went, they came to L.A. together, to my knowledge, and uh, Jenna was kicked out of the house after Jenna brought Faith to the house, and then Faith just left her after she got kicked out with nowhere to stay, nowhere to go, fucking basically on the street by herself. Faith just was like, oh, sorry, Jenna. Why I don't want to leave the house. This place is nice. And, uh, you know, we're getting free shit over here. Like, that's a really bad character. You know what I mean? Like, Faith seems like a really bad person based on what I've uh, seen on actions. Like, I was like, Jenna, you could stay at my house. Like, you don't have to worry about that. Um, so this chick is retarded. But also, that might not be the best. So with Jenna and Raj, the thing is, like, I know if I talk about Jenna and Raj and what Jenna has said about Raj and the Raj show and everything like that, is that it doesn't do anything. Because all that's going to happen is that Jenna's going to deny it, she's going to try and excuse it, she's going to talk to Raj about it, like, she's, I don't know, she's very good with manipulating people. And so I know it's just going to go under the radar. And like, if I say it, like it might mean Jenna's a good person and she doesn't do that. This chick's retarded and this chick's literally doing the actual manipulation. Um, doing, thank you dude for the member. I appreciate that. It's another streamer. How's no one there streams? Well, apparently it doesn't start the next week. So I don't know. And then let's see, trying to hook, Jenna's trying to hook up with me now. Yeah, yeah sure. Jenna's trying to hook up with me while my girlfriend's here. Because it was her justification that her boyfriend in Europe would never see it's in the chat. She was like, he'll never find out. It's okay. And I was like, Jenny, you can't just cheat on people. You can't, you, you literally can't do that to people. She's like, I'm a cheater. It's what I do. I'm like, I'm like, Jenny, you can't do that to people. You can't do that. She's like, I don't feel any remorse. I don't care. I don't feel any remorse about anything. I really don't give a shit. And I was like, you don't feel remorse right now, Jenna. But you're going to get to a point where you feel remorse in life about your shitty actions. This girl's lying. You don't feel remorse right now, but you're going to. And you're going to feel like shit. When all the shitty things that you do pile up eventually, you're going to feel remorse and it's going to hit you like a truck. And this you're girl, hate this girl is this, a big, this girl's lying. <laughs> this girl's fake as fuck. Um, she ditched her friend for guys she's never met before after Jenna introduced them. She is probably going to live there now because why not free shit? Uh, you know, this girl looks, this girl seems like a leech. And three, um, like, she's dumb, bro. Like, obviously, she doesn't know anything. Yeah, Jenna's coming over to hook up with me when my girlfriend's here. Like, that's even legit. Like, Kiara Kitty has funny content so Jenna's far. You like should fucking, check out her subreddit. Dude, Jenna's like a fucking friend, dude. Oh, she's like a fucking, she's like a sister, bro. Um, yeah, she is funny, but no media. But thank you, dude. I appreciate that. Thank you so much, homie. She's obviously a leech. You see the photo of her kissing on D3? I did not see her kissing D3, but yeah, she's clearly just a leech. So, whatever comes out of this girl's mouth, just don't fucking listen to it. What I think about CX News today, I mean, I thought it was fine. I mean, well, okay, Bone Clanks went way, like, he went hard, bro. He went, he went way too hard on people that don't deserve it. He definitely was, like, pushing a narrative sometimes, but... You know, I mean, I guess that's unbiased news, but he was kind of pushing a narrative a little bit. But, uh, you know, we'll see how it uh, progresses. I'm not going to fire Bone Clinks or anything, no, but I'm just saying he... Some of the stuff he was saying was, like, definitely pushing a narrative. I mean, I maybe for memes, maybe to, you know, for shit posters, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I really like the chemistry between you and EBC. You guys have this contrast between you. That's good. Yeah, Bob. Fucking EBC is a funny guy, dude. I like him a lot. He's really good. The shit he said about Andy was pretty fucked. Um, I mean, you know, like I said, pushing a narrative a little bit. What do you think about Bree and Katie possibly moving in with uh, Farmer Charlie? I mean, best of luck to him. I mean, I don't really think anything. Thank you, Gabe. Appreciate the member, dude. Um, he went hard, but I think he brought good points. But to be honest, I like that you give people second chances. Don't judge them on their past. I mean, I try not to, Missy. I try not to, homie. Um, so I don't know. I saw this Faith girl trying to gold dig off a 17-year-old Fortnite dude. She's scum. Um, I mean, I don't know her, but she doesn't look that great of a person. 
based on her actions so far. Um, EBZ makes you look like you have the best work ethic in the world. Well, hey, maybe that's why he's around then. Fuck it, dude. Honestly. CX in the chat. The thing about Bone Clinks is he knew that Reddit could either make or break the, his first episode, so he appeased them, to them way too much. Well, that just makes him smart. You know, doing that, I suppose. I just don't think he should have went so hard on everybody in fucking the CX network, dude. Because, you know, we're trying to, like, not have all this, like, tense drama in the community all the time towards every single person, you know? So, I mean, but we'll see how it progresses. Thank you, Jim Jones. Appreciate the member, dude. Did Harvey break up with his girlfriend? Uh, that's what somebody told me, I, but I don't know. Why would he do that? Seems a little weird. They're, they've been dating for months. What do you think about Brandon trying to invite you to a party? Um, I mean... I mean, I don't know. I don't really think anything. I mean, that's fine. I'm not really down to go to a party, random ass party, but, you know, it is what it is. CX in the chat. I mean, because I don't know any of his people, and, you know, we don't really have great history, so... What are the qualifications to join CX? Uh, not really any qualifications. You just, I gotta like you. That's basically it, Jack. What do you do, Jack? Are you, uh, I mean, let me check your channel out. Let's see. What do you uh, do around here? Let's see, go to fucking channel, which I can't fucking do because it's just AIDS. So, I'm guessing you live in Austin, Texas, and you do very similar shit that Joseph Costello does as well. I mean, that's what it seems, at least. CX in the chat. I mean, basically, I just gotta like you, dude, honestly. Um, you know, if I think you've got good shit, and I think uh, Ice doesn't remember me. Um... Bro, I, I have an issue remembering anybody. I meet so many people every day, man. You like you have to understand. Like I don't like it's hard to remember people sometimes, unless I meet them a lot. Uh I mean so I don't know, no offense. Thank you, Bruno. Appreciate the member, dude. It's just yeah, I meet a bunch every day I'm meeting like fifty new fucking people almost and then you know, so if I, I have to meet you multiple times a day. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I think I mean and also, I went to Austin seven months ago, so I don't know. But uh, I don't know, bro. You look like you got some uh, some cool stuff, you, interviews. But can you turn the interviews into something that's live streamed is the question. Thank you, Bruno. How you doing, homie? Nice to fucking see you, dude. <clears throat> it's the guy. It's the eyebrow kid from The Wall Runner. Okay. I was on his video. I think I, if I was on your video, then I do remember. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it was a Brandon, right? Six trees of band waiting to happen? Nah, dude, I've streamed there plenty of times. It's fine. There's not, like, too much nudity over there, so. Why is my TV down? Because this thing is coming off the wall, so I put the TV on the floor just in case that thing fall, falls off the wall. You look like Lucifer for with that overexposed lighting. Uh, <laughs> I know, right? Let me just do this then. I'll just turn that shit off. The lighting's not going to be as good, but, like, at least it's not overexposed. Is SSJ going to be in the house? SSJ is going to live in the house, yes, in the streamer house, because he's the manager, and he's going to keep shit, like, going. Like, when I'm not home, he's going to make sure, like, people aren't fucking house up and shit like that. He's basically the house, like, he just, he takes care of the house, you know? He's going to, like, make sure the house is, like, in good standing with, like, the landlords and, like, all this other shit. to hire a camera, bro. BTW be out there on the 12th. I'll see that. Uh, all right, I'll see you, Moe's. We'll see what you can do, homie. Did I see the video released? I did, Neb. What do you think about it, homie? Is Sam really going to live in your roof? Uh, I mean, not permanently. <laughs> he can have it anytime he wants. Let Bjorn stay in the house. Hey, if Bjorn ever comes back to America, he's more than welcome to sleep over for sure. Can I live in the streamer house closet? Well, we do want to have an editor live in the streamer house. Um, 
we want to we we want an editor to live in the streamer house um in like a, the smallest room or something just a, an in-house live-in editor so as soon as i'm done fucking streaming i can just go to the dude's room and just be like yo upload the highlight video and you know like i i make sure the shit's like i make sure it comes out because he lives with me you know and i can see what he's doing and i can like constantly get updates and shit and you know what i mean so basically uh you know that'd be the case and then also i want i want the editor to do like just upload videos that's not live streamed as well just like behind the scenes shit like i don't like to say the word behind the scenes because it makes it sound too like like, it, like there's production behind that this but there's not um but yeah i want i want to upload just like random fucking videos here and there that aren't live streamed as well so the editor is also going to be a slash a camera guy so uh you know, he's everyone who has, has a room in the house has a specific job. You know what I mean? That helps the channel and helps everyone else in the house. Everyone in the house is going to help everyone Do else in the house. Stop doing this in ten years. Also, will there be another CX court for Xenon Planet? You know, I talked to Smeep recently, Victor, and Smeep didn't, like, I don't know. I don't really remember how the conversation went when we when I talked to him for CX News. It was more like he wanted to do something bigger than editing, I think. Like, I don't know. I, yeah, I mean, if you could help me convince him to, you know, go into the streamer house, that could be cool because Smeep is a nice dude. But I don't really think he wants to do that anymore. I honestly think you should have videos that haven't been live streamed. Yeah, that's the goal. I mean, I want to do videos that aren't live streamed as well. I wonder uh, this other streamer house that's going on. Apparently it starts next week. I'm curious to see how it goes. I really am. It'll be a nice competition between... I know it shouldn't really be a competition, but... I'm a very competitive person, so I like competition. So I really want, uh, I really want to see which house can actually provide the better content. I'm very excited to see how this goes. I'd be down to do editing for free if no one else could. Um, well, you wouldn't have to do anything for free, but I mean that could be nice. But you know what they say: you get what you pay for. Um. TSA is also, Tracksuit Andy is also not with Charlie or any of those guys. He's just doing his own thing. I want to hang out with him when he comes, he's at Big Bear right now. When he comes back to LA from Big Bear, I want to hang out. I think you should give Latorius a position of some sort. He works really hard and tells his family that this is his future. I tried to have Latorius as my editor before. I, I don't know. I didn't, I don't think he did that great with like clickbaiting and shit like that. And I, I don't know. I don't think he knows exactly. Like he, he gets good highlights, but he doesn't really know SEO very well. And he barely speaks English. So you mute yourself when I donate to you hashtag scam. We need to do a CX court on X. Oh, CX and fan See Burger Planet, probably do CX court if he ever comes back to LA. And, um, I don't know if I see myself doing this in 10 years. I mean, maybe. As long as I can still make a living from it, I don't see why not. As long as I'm not fucking, like, just dead <laughs> or something. So, as long as I can make a living. So, thank you, BMK. I appreciate the motherfucking member, dude. Look at the ratio on my channel. CX in the chat. All right, Doink. Let's look at your, uh, your stuff here. Doink. You said look at the ratio on your channel. I mean, this ain't this ain't looking this this ain't looking that uh, you can't really flex here. This ain't looking too great, I'm homie. Vids, I think. Damn, this guy's pro AF. Lucky to have him. I mean, uh, maybe. I mean, I had him before. He didn't do that great. I mean, he did great. He good highlights, but not great SEO. Um, thank you, Toxic. Appreciate the motherfucking member, dude. 
How's my ratio? Let's see, Jack. Let's see what you got here. I'd say pretty good. Better than doink. I'll say that. Let's see my ratio. Hey. Homie, you need to get one of those professional Not bad. for the desktop streams. You make plenty of money, homie. Buy some better equipment. Yeah, I should get a professional light. I should get a DSLR camera. And I should get my studio mic working again. I have a Shure SM7B right here. But it's broken. <laughs> um, I just don't want to spend money. But I must. You're right. The streamer house is going to have its own studio. And like green screen and like equipment room. So that's probably... When I've, we're going to have an, un, an unlimited amount of, like, streaming equipment, so don't worry about that. Are you scared of bringing YouTubers with bigger channels than you? No, I would love to. Dude, I would love to bring YouTubers with bigger channels than me into the streaming world. I would fucking love that. Like, I don't care if I'm not the biggest person on CX Network or, like, just in the, in the YouTube IRL streaming community. Like, I don't care about that, dude. As long as I can make a fucking living and as long as the community grows, that's all I care about. Because in, in the end, if the community so grows, then I'll grow. Start employing the best people in their fields instead of friends and fans. This can only be better for your business model. Put chat on lips so you can see. Alright, hold on. I'll read that in a sec. I thought Bone was panning the Reddit, but I agreed with him. You're showing no loyalty to longtime CX network streamers by letting SSJ keep them out of the house. Your thoughts. Okay. CX network streamers, I'm not saying they're not going to be in the house. That's not what I'm fucking saying, dude. That's, I never said that. What I said, in fact, was the people that are going to be in the house are going to be people that I think have potential to grow outside of this community. People that already have grown their own thing outside of this community and people that are actually going to be able to, you know, contribute a lot to the house. I mean, there's investors behind this. We need to make sure that the house is something that is growing and popular. I can't be the only, you know, like real or like successful streamer in the house, dude. You know what I mean? Like it's, that's not a good business model and that's not a good, anything like i'm not saying people aren't going to be in the fucking house that are uh, in the cx network i'm just saying that i just got to make sure i get the right people um, but that doesn't mean that people can't come in the house people can still stop by the house stream in the house for fucking content and just like hang out and stuff um you know depending on how long they want to hang out like 100 percent, dude like, I think Hyphonix is somebody on the CX Network that would be great for the streamer house, to be fucking honest with you. I think he's fantastic. I think he's a good streamer. He has his own ideas. He constantly tries to up himself. Um, and I think he can also contribute a lot to the house without just being, like, completely toxic. You know, because that's another thing. I don't want complete toxicity to reign through the house. You know, drama sometimes is fine, but toxicity is a lot different than drama. And I don't want toxicity in the house because that's really, you know, that just hurts everybody's relationships with one another. And we all need to, like, work together. Do a video with Danny Duncan after watching Sam stream. It's actually really good. You would make it more autistic and he's got money to throw. Well, I don't really know Danny Duncan like that, but. I noticed you follow Sir Cruz on Instagram, adding more tryhards to the network. Um, I mean, Sir Cruz doesn't like me. I tried to add him a long time ago. I tried to add him a long time ago. He doesn't fucking like me, dude. That was loud. What's up, Chaplain? How you doing, homie? I'm trying to figure out where Ring of where Run on t Return on Investment comes in. For instance, you're basically making it sound like scuffed offline TV, but they can make money because they're safe for brands. Pokey has an Amazon show. There's other ways to make money that is not through brand deals. Thank you, Mr. Mill. I appreciate the member. So let's say this. Let's say the house is successful, but it's completely rated our content and we can't get brand deals. Okay. Investors like seeing numbers. And if they see a lot of views on something, they're going to be like, okay, let's buy into this now. 
or like let's let's fund this with money now and figure this shit out later okay if the house is pulling tons and tons of views our second round of funding is going to uh you know they're going to be you know investors are going to fund us with a second round of funding which is going to be lar much larger than our first round of funding um and then obviously you know the more money that is pumped into it the more we can like do stuff to make a return i don't really know what that entails yet whether it's merch whether it's you know adding some sort of microtransactions to fucking anything that we do whether it's a fucking once in a while pay-per-view stream I'm not saying any of this is at all going to happen. I'm just saying these are theoretical possibilities of other ways to make money. That is not through brand deals. But like I said, investors don't really f focus on return on investment, re return on investment for the first three to five years. So the first three years, they're not going to make any money. So like you don't have to worry about all that shit. Here come the Reddit threads. Okay, let me reiterate it. Those were theoretical things. That's not something that's... Those were not things that were going to happen. Those are theoretical. Um, that, you know, just that, that are not brand deals. Don't twist the words. Um, but, um, yeah, I mean, like I said, the investors don't need to make money for three years anyway, so... I mean, I'd like to make the money, but like I said, it's just, we have to grow the fucking brand first. We have to grow the house first and grow everything that we're doing with them first before we even think about making money. Uh, thank you, Joe. Appreciate the member, dude. And click, clack, bang. I like that name, dude. Thank you, homie. Companies like Brand Awareness. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's it's like, I don't, I'm not worried about brand deals, man. Yo, Sean, I don't believe that. I don't believe that, to be honest, but you know, I don't really know. CX gonna be the next big thing. Ice has made something not a lot of streamers, YouTubers have done. That's a real ass community. I mean, honestly, I think this community has done a good job, bro. We've uh, we've definitely made more of a brand than a lot of other YouTube channels out there, out there, and more of a community than a lot of other YouTube channels out there. Maybe I shouldn't say. I mean, people know CX. That's kind of a brand, but we have a real ass community. I mean, you got big YouTubers that sell tons of fucking merch and, uh, you know, they make tons of money, but do they actually have like a real community or do they just have viewers and people who buy stuff like where does the community interact with each other with most of these YouTube channels? You know, Jake Paul, for example. Yeah. He makes a lot of money selling all of his, a lot of merch and like all this other shit, but where does his community go to interact with each other? Besides the comment section on YouTube. They don't really go anywhere. So it's not really a real community. It's just a bunch of people who have similar interests. That kind of are like acquaintances in the comment section, you know? Thank you, Lost. Appreciate the member, dude. Whereas Discord and Reddit in this community are, you know, obviously a big asset to it. I hate that the Reddit's quarantined. I'm working on getting it unquarantined. But until then, you know, it's still an asset. Did I get the weed? Oh, I have a weed plant outside. I'd bring it in, but it's all fucking wet. But I'm growing weed plants outside. It's pretty big. It's nice. Um, When it dries off, I'll fucking bring it in and show you guys. This community is really engaging. That's the difference between them and us. Yeah, or us and them. Yeah, that's true. Linus Tech Tips... They do live streams and they get big numbers. You're right. Um, but does he have viewers or does he have a community? I don't know. I mean, I guess like the word, I guess that's not the right phrase to do it. All these YouTube channels, they have communities, but they're just not as engaging. I've been telling you that shit. It's okay to take a week off. They call me mental health Andy on a robot streamer now. I mean, yeah. Um, I mean, I don't want to take a week off, but I mean, I don't know, fucking 30 days of without a day off for myself. I'm not gonna lie, it kind of sucks. <laughs> like, I like streaming, but I also like a day to myself too. Even, yeah, I mean, even if I stream three, four, five hours a day, it's still like the rest of my day is like definitely um, circled around those three to four or five hours that I stream for. 
like all day today i was like working on shit for the vr helmets just making sure everything's gonna work making you know coming up with the idea testing the idea you know shit like that even if i only streamed for three hours a day i was still thinking about the stream the rest of the fucking day oh yeah linus might be a different story if he has his own forum then would you consider making green screen footage during the 30-day run yeah i mean i want to do another green screen competition that was always good that was fun yeah i didn't bring the wrist straps but fuck it i didn't think i was gonna drop the controller I don't want to take any days. I got to do the 30 days, bro, but I'm not, you know, I'll be careful not to burn myself out. If I really, like, am going to start feeling burned out, like, I'll just do, like, a PC stream for, like, one or two days, and I'll be fine. Yo, see you later, Jack. Thank you for motherfucking stopping by, dude. My friends think you, you don't need a bucket list thing that you should do before you die. Things that you want to do before you die. Dude, everyone should have a bucket list. That's how you keep yourself motivated and fulfilled in life. You should always have goals and shit that you want to do. That's, you know, if you have no goals and you wake up, you're like, I don't know what the fuck I want to do. I don't know what I want to, what a goal is. I don't know where I want to go, what I want to buy. I don't have any goals. That's not going to keep you very fulfilled. You're going to go into depression and it's going to suck. I mean, I have very like over the top goals, like me wanting to go to space. It's a very fucking like over the top goal that may not happen. But it keeps me, like, wanting to, like, work to get there. And it keeps me not depressed because I'm able to think about something that I haven't done that I really want to do. And I can kind of, you know, I wake up in the morning and I'm just like, okay. I, it's not that I don't have anything to do. It's that I need to work towards this goal. Even if I, you know, even if I'm not doing stuff to get to that goal. I don't know. Thank you, Ben. Appreciate the member, dude. Like, thank you. I think, uh, yeah, the shit, like, you should always, like, make your goals something that are just, like, over the top, for sure. But don't be disappointed when you don't reach the goals. Like, if I don't go to space in 2019, I'm not going to be disappointed. I'm just going to be like, all right, 2020, going to space, you know, type shit. Have I talked to Destiny more about the appeal? I, uh have not but i i'm gonna message him don't worry and i'll uh, you know i'll talk to him about it i used to be watching arnold schwarzenegger motivational speeches lately huh no i haven't watched any motivational speeches because what works for them probably doesn't work for me because everybody's different and you should just come up with your own motivational ideas i don't think i mean watching motivational speeches are, are cool i guess but it's just not for me because i'm just i'm not them what they do is not gonna work for me like probably Thank you, cutie. Appreciate the member, dude. Seems odd the company doing the deal wouldn't get you a dev. Uh, we have devs, Cripple Andy. Going to Mars to realize you had nothing to do here? It's not about the destination. It's about the journey to Mars. Turn on TTS face masks? Dude, that shit's AIDS. <laughs> like, I don't want to turn it on. That shit's fucking, fucking AIDS, homie. You got to be your own motivational speaker. When I was in college and I took my uh, public relations class, I they made us do motivational speeches. Like they made us write fucking speeches, which I just improved. What I did is write like five ideas that I wanted to talk about. And I just fucking improved because I don't like writing shit. I'd rather just talk as I go. That's kind of just how I, I just work better doing that than writing something to fucking talk about, reading it word by word, especially in you know, public speaking. Um, if I have to remember what I have to say, I'm going to like psych myself out. And I'm going to get fucking nervous. Whereas if I go up and talk to a crowd and I have to improvise, I'm not going to psych myself out because it's just all going to come out naturally. And there's, I'm not going to have to think about remembering what I'm going to say. But yeah, I remember I writing or, you know, doing some like motivational speeches. They were just like, they were kind of like funny though. They weren't like really motivational. Zero gravity flight stream similar to going to space. I've heard of those. Don't know if I can stream it, but I could try. Advice can't stream in downtown LA without effing. Do you think you can stream in space? Companies that will do it for me, but I'm just there on the stream. Instead of me streaming myself. That's the case. That's the difference. The companies will run the live stream. I'll just be the person on it. That's the goal. <laughs> you know what I mean? 
in terms of like going to space at least because you know I, the companies or would probably have to let me use their fucking satellites and stuff which i probably can't stream just by myself on so i mean i could just make a video about it you're right sean but you know i don't know if that's as good i feel like people like to experience shit together with me at the same time not watching it watching something from the past would you consider doing vr again as it's sort of like irl without being irl um, yeah, I mean, I want to do IRL stuff, or, I want to do VR stuff, but, you know, in due time, maybe if I'm feeling burnt out one day, I'll do it, sometime this month. Ice Poseidon Streamer House, 2059, what the fuck is this? I'm actually gonna wipe it off. Where's this guy living at? How's there sunlight? We'll suck dick for money. What up, dude? Welcome to the streaming house, dog. I got fucking EBZ in here. I got fucking Sam in here. Just fucking kids, dude. I'm fucking homeless as fuck, homeboy. Please donate. It's 2059. Why do I have I a... Fucking donuts, why am I old boy? for, dude? Please, dude. Come on. I need the donuts. Please. Sam. Wait, wait. What the fuck? Sam's here. Dude, you're so funny, bro. I'm Paul. What's up, Paul? What it do, Sam, homeboy? Come here, dude. Sam, what do you want, dude? You can hear my stream in the background, oh, dog. Where do you? This guy lives in like you Africa or something. Twenty years ago. Fuck off, dude. I can even I can hear an accent. He lives in like South Africa or something. He's in this bitch, homeboy. Let me get him. Mind you, granted, this is a pretty shitty stream house. Bro, this is the new meta. This is the new meta. People donate and they stream themselves. Watching my stream. Talking to me through their stream. That's the meta. We gonna be doing all them challenges. Oh, and if you got some cards, yeah. Yeah, I'll suck your dick, homeboy. <laughs> Come on, dude. It's January 2059. I died like 20 years ago, homie. Please, dude. Give me some donuts, please. I need the donuts for the crack, homeboy. Please, homie. I need the donuts. Ice, what up, dude? You don't even have any stream lab. You don't even have stream labs, bro. Or super chat. There's no way to donate to you, but this is funny. You're funny. I mean, cool. I mean, you're you're a good shit poster, homie. That's a great. That's a good meme. Thank you for the donation, homie. Jenna is gonna date Vex. Mark it down. That's not true at all. But thank you. Last ten days should be throwback VR RuneScape story games. I can't do that shit for ten days though. People are gonna want IRL, dude. Any info about that robot? Um, which, what do you mean? Any info on the robot? What robot? What do you mean? Premiere it live with us? Yeah, I mean, I could do that. Ice goes to space. I mean, that's true. I could do that. We'll see if I can't live stream that. I probably will do that. We should do an art stream at Bob Ross tutorial. Those are always good. I did one before. That's, uh, it was just funny. It's just, I can't paint so scuffed. Qualify for dead man mode tourney tomorrow. I don't got time to play Dead Man, dude. They're going to ban the account or lock the account out of the tournament once they find out it wasn't me solely playing on it by myself. And I don't have fucking time to train the account. Like, I just, like, you got to be on that bitch for like 12 hours a day. Did you hear about Vex leaving the network? I did not, but, you know, if he does, then fuck it. You know, battle of the strongest, right? Tips for beginning IRL streamers? Um... Be original and adapt. Those are always the two things I say. You got to be original at first to get, you know, a first the first couple of viewers. And then you have to adapt to keep your maintaining viewers and then to get more viewers in order to grow. Oh, thanks for the, the member, dude. I appreciate that, homie. Thank you I, so much for the $5, homie. That's a good name. 
Let me see. Did I almost jump off the ledge? Are you trolling, chat? Uh, no, I was. Uh, I don't. I wasn't trolling. I wasn't thinking anything. I didn't even know that was a ledge. To be honest. Cheap st space travel in the near future. Yeah, near future. But the near future is probably five years from now, dude. Relatively speaking. Ignoring comments about the Alex Donas. What's the the fucking Alex Donas? I don't know, but thank you, dude. How do you feel about Jacob and Kimberly relationship? Um, I don't like that meme. I don't like that meme, homie. But, I mean, each to their own. <clears throat> Alex is the voice donors. Um, oh, my shit's not even voicing. I buy some dimmable. Color temperature adjustable LED lights for seventy dollars bucks. Knee we're now six hundred sixty. Please tell me. I should. That's a good idea. I should. I should get those. The streamer house. I mean, you guys will all find out once it happens, right? That's kind of how it will go. Well, I'm a fan and want to prove myself to you, so I can work on those other projects I talked about. So that's why I do it for free. Earning your respect and trust is worth a lot more to me. I mean, that's commendable. Can I, also come to I appreciate the that. House? I will give you content. I lost my arm at a butter eating competition. Am dead ass serious. How the fuck do you lose your arm in a butter comp eating competition? What the fuck? CX in the what chat. Was it like diabetes or something? I mean, I don't know. I appreciate that. Where's your girlfriend, Paul? She's uh, in the living room sleeping because I'm sitting in the room talking and she won't be able to sleep in here if I'm talking. <laughs> so. But I will, uh, as soon as I, I end. shadow bend, I don't show up on your chat. WTF. My YouTube name is Barky. I'll check it out and see what's up. SEO. Yo, ask, can you come out to San Francisco for 420? I need to meet you. You're like a freaking mythical unicorn. CX in the chat. SEO on point. Left is the latest video. Right is your live stream. Don't talk about SEO lol. Prank, by the way. Vine, by the way. Bonus points for EBZ grind on me. So this is my CX SEO. in the chat. This is the SEO for the latest highlight video. That's supposed to bring in new viewers and be great clickbait. So let's see. Ice Poseidon. Ice Poseidon highlights. Ice Poseidon live stream. CX. Purple Army vlog, CX in the daily chat. vlog, live daily vlog, grinder, grinder date, grinder app, grinder app prank, straight man grind on grinder, straight man in drag, straight man grinder, grinder date vlog, straight man turns. Will there be a guest bedroom in the house for streamers like Grimoire or PR Kitty to stay a week or two at a time? They have a lot of potential to grow your non existent female demographic audience. I mean, yeah, for sure, homie. Definitely. Well, straight man turns. What does that mean? Coming out of the closet. Coming out of the closet prank. Coming out of the closet vine. Gay love story. Grind on me. EBZ. Interesting. <laughs> Grind on me. EBZ. How is that a... How is that a tag? <laughs> like... Even if he, I may, my thought process is he did that for the community. Like people on Reddit, if they search grind on me EBZ, like the clip of him of tracksuit saying grind me EBZ on YouTube, that video would pop up. I think that's his mentality, but I don't really think many people are even searching that to begin with. So dude, I love that you keep just giving me $5 to be a fucking dumbass. Thank you so much, dude. Um, yeah, I mean. Those SEOs, uh, some of them are good. Some of those are pretty bad. I agree, 100%. That's kind of funny. Charlie, trying to get your stream banned, bud. That's, uh, I mean, that's, no, these are just, that's just a dumb troll, but that's uh, <clears throat> not even funny, but thanks for the fucking $15 so far. Appreciate it. Alex, the donation guy is actually super funny. You should reach out to him. Um, I mean, fuck, I gotta see his channel. Then I will. Get another tattoo for the stream. I don't really like tattoos, so I probably won't. But, uh, I don't know. 
those are keyword generators that do a better job or they are keyword generators that do a better job yeah you're right put pictures in folders FFS yeah I'm a lazy fuck I have all these fucking shit on my thing here this is my favorite photo of all time by the way it's a photo of EBZ as Willy Wonka it's my favorite dude I love this fucking photo Would you get a CX face tat since you'll probably never have to get a job? No. No, I will never get... Nobody will ever take me seriously. They already don't. Well, imagine about a face tattoo. Search Alex trolling CX streamers on YouTube. All right, I'll, I'll check it out, bro. Thank you, homie. Yeah, I don't think a face tattoo would be great. I don't think anybody really wants to see that either. On me, at least. I don't know. I don't think I'd fit it. What do you think about the fake donation guy giving money to EBZ tonight? False hope sucks. EBZ probably thinks he's rich now. Uh, I mean, it is what it is until YouTube fixes their shit. I mean, it is what it is. I mean, at least I know who the guy is, so I know not to get fucking my hopes up. Ask Uber about the dominatrix stream. <laughs> okay. I will, homie. Um, for sure. Face tattoo is definitely a good CEO look. I mean, maybe. Not really. Um, okay. I'm going to go fucking... This was a very short member stream. I do apologize, but... I'm waking up early to go to Universal, and my girlfriend is currently sleeping on the couch in the living room because I'm taking up the bedroom to stream here. So <laughs> I'm just I'm gonna fucking go. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Fucking sorry, like again, or sorry, like I said, not very long member stream, but I just wanted to just come on and say what's up real quick. But um, yeah, fucking, I'll see y'all tomorrow. I'll do a longer member stream as well after normal stream. So I'll see y'all later. Fucking peace. Love you guys, and uh, good night, and good morning. All right, see you later, guys.